Cats, pancakes, cats eating pancakes. How are we actually supposed to capture all this great content without amazing camera support in your apps? I'm David East, and the Camera 2 API is for building the best in the business camera apps. Let's take a step back and look at the history of the camera API options on Android. The simplest option for taking photos or video has always been the camera intent. Basically, you kick off this intent, and the user gets to use their preferred camera app to take a picture. While it's easy to use, it's not really for heavyweight camera apps. The camera intent is for apps where the camera is more of an accessory rather than the main feature. And that doesn't help us show fluffy eating flapjacks, so we need a better API. The camera API provided a lot more control than the camera intent. With the camera API, you could build a camera view however you wanted. And the camera API was great, but as photos progressed, there were definitely some things that it was missing like no support for capturing uncompressed images and performance on newer hardware, where the preview rate was capped at like one to three frames a second. Clearly, our cats deserve a better API. And that API is Camera 2. The Camera, camera 2 API is the newest, biggest, and baddest camera API on the block. It provides you with an awesome full manual control over your device's cameras. And it fixes all the problems we had with our old API. You can take images at faster intervals, show previews from multiple cameras, and even apply effects and filters to it directly. However, before you get hacking on your new camera app, there are a few things that you should know. Just because the Camera 2 API is overflowing with awesome features, it doesn't mean that all of your users' devices will support them. As such, you need to know what each device is capable of doing. And you can do that by getting a list of the camera characteristics specific to that device. These characteristics can be simple things like which way the lens is facing, or something even more complex like the available face detection modes. And if your app can't function without those features, you can require that the user must have it in order to download your app. Just set the uses feature in your manifest file. It's also important to know that the Camera 2 API was introduced in Android L. In order to support older apps, you're going to have to fall back to the Camera API. And there's no support for the Camera 2 API in the Android support library just yet, but if you bug this guy enough, it might make it there just a bit faster. The Camera 2 API gives you a lot of responsibility over your device's cameras, but with great responsibility comes great power. I, th I think that's how it goes. To learn about the Camera 2 API, check out the API reference. And if you want to see it in action, there's a sample app on GitHub that captures raw images. If your app uses the camera, get the best camera experience using Camera 2, and just keep building better apps.